Amanda. I'm the real estate advisor. Welcome to the Budapest Real Estate Club. As you know, I usually provide lots of information about how to purchase the property in Hungary. Today we have a very exciting moment. I would like to introduce you to the very knowledgeable real estate investor. The Ari Kupsus came to Hungary from Finland more than 17 years ago and he ran his real estate investment projects for many, many years. Ari, hello. Hello, hello. Ari is very well represented in lots of talented young artists. Actually, just behind of us, you can see the exciting picture of young uh, Hungarian artist Ormatte. Uh, Ormatte actually uh, cooperated with the Aris Galleria for several years. Yes, can you tell a little bit us about talented switches yes. you present? Yes, Ormatte is one of the most uh, famous uh, Hungarian young artists. I met Ormatte already in 2009 when he was a fourth grade student at the Academy of Fine Arts. And uh, when I opened my gallery the same year, I was looking uh, the young talents, and uh, that's why one of the professors at the academy uh, showed me around, and uh, uh, that was the first time I met Ormades' works. And um, next year, 2000, I had the first uh, uh, scholarship uh, handout here in the gallery, and actually Ormade was the first uh, scholarship winner of uh, Arias Kutsu Society uh, Scholarship Foundation. Since that, uh, we have been working with Ormade uh, together, and uh, yes, great, he became quite famous artist, uh, not only in Hungary, but also worldwide. Ari, please, can you describe a little bit more about your novel idea how do you support uh, the young artists from Hungary? Yes, uh, um, 1996, uh, 96, I, I founded my charity organization in Helsinki and uh, moved it here to Hungary in uh, 2000 and I decided to stay here. Uh, I noticed that in Hungary there is no uh, state support for the students and the students are really suffering uh, with the financial problems and uh, there are so many talents here in Hungary and I, I felt so sorry for the students that they can't, they can't continue their studies if the parents uh, do not have funds for them. And uh, so I decided to move my charity organization from Finland to here and uh, since 2000 I have been helping only Hungarian uh, students of the Listerans Academy of Music and the Academy of Fine Arts uh, in Budapest. Since uh, 2000, we have had uh, uh, quite many uh, concerts that we have give out of hand out the scholarships. We have uh, uh, every May we have an exhibition opening here in in the Arikusus Gallery, where we promote and we show the works of the fourth year students of the painting faculty of the Academy of Fine Arts. These uh, scholarships, like this year, we gave. Uh, 16 scholarships uh, for the students and it's so vital for them uh, and it's a wonderful uh, day uh, it's the best day actually of my life the day when I hand out the scholarships because the students their reaction is so uh, pricing for me you know somebody can't talk somebody starts crying somebody starts screaming you know it's it's so important for them and, uh, and uh, uh, we have already saved a few students' uh, studies and uh, it's, it gives you so much, uh, you know, so much emotion and so much, so much uh, happiness when you can really help somebody and you see the help, the result of your help. help. Not just give money for some organizations who take your money away somewhere, but but when when you can see the reaction of the, of the students when you help them when they are in in such a deep financial uh, 
uh, uh, I don't know how you say it, financial problems, struggling with these problems, and then you save their life. Almost save their life. Everybody of us invest in our life, and you invest in your energy to the very high goal. Please, can you share a little bit, like, if anybody of us would like to join to support the young, talented artist, how possible to contact and be involved to this cultural uh, part of the Budapest? Uh, it's easy, actually very easy. Uh, they just contact me, they can call me or they can send me an email and uh, I will give them more information. Uh, uh, actually the scholarship funds is working so that uh, all the members of the Art Collectors Club, which is inside my uh, charity organization, uh, they donate uh, yearly 400 euros, uh, minimum 400 euros. If you want, you can also donate, of course, more. Uh, but the minimum donation is 400 euros. Uh, we inform in January the Academy of Fine Arts, the Beijing faculty, and the fourth year, uh, fourth grade of the Beijing faculty about the possibility to apply the scholarships. There are approximately 16 to 20 students uh, from the department applying. They send their portfolios uh, with maximum 15 paintings. So we have all, uh, approximately 300, 350 paintings offered for this uh, May exhibition. From those 300, 350 paintings, all the donator can, every donator can choose one piece of art. And uh, uh, of course, the painter of that uh, painting or the piece of art that they choose will get the scholarship. But the piece of art or the painting stays in the ownership of the donator. So we, this time we like buy the paintings, but it's a scholarship uh, named as a scholarship uh, because uh, then the students can put on their CV that they receive the prize. If you just buy the painting, there is no sign of this kind of thing. So this is another way how we help them, we create them, uh, the, 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 or we help them to create the good uh, CV as well. It's really exciting because actually it's really the right moment to find a new talent because after 10 or 20 years, like for example, the very famous artist uh, uh, which is pictures presented in the Or Mountain, their pictures now cost much more as the 400 euros. Exactly. Please think about it, your investment, your life investment, and join us in the Budapest and Budapest Real Estate Club. Ari is going to guide you more and provide more information in person. Please contact us. As the gallery name already tells, this is Ari Musus Gallery Art and Antiques. We do not only uh, present uh, contemporary art here, we also do some antiques. Most of the antique pieces are from uh, the 18th uh, century um, until 1860. For example, here uh, you can see the setting that comes from Russia. This is a Russian ampere from 1830 uh, from uh, St. Petersburg. The table, uh, writing desk over there, it's a very typical Hungarian. Uh, Peter Mayer from 1840 1850. Here you can see Mades, uh, Ur Mades painting. Uh, Mades is a very well known artist and uh, his style, which is called Orismus, uh, is uh, very interesting. He has uh, uh, human bodies connected with uh, animal heads, exactly like here, the stack wearing a suit. On the other uh, wall you can see Adam, Eva is on somewhere. Adam has the apple uh, in his hand which Eva gave him and the big leaf that uh, Adam was covering his uh, precious parts. Uh, the uh, face or the head of the Adam is the snake head. The gallery is in palace quarters of Budapest. Uh, the, the address is Prodishan 23 per B. And uh, Facebook page is called of 
course Ari Gallery, vip uh, page Ari Welcome.